Anyways. Anyways, okay, I'm sorry. Move on, move on. What's kind of your thinking behind your public presence at this point? Uh, oh, God, I mean, it depends on the hour. I mean, <laughs> down all the time. Sometimes I really just want to, like, destroy... Also, I will say, like, one of the hilarious things about this to me is that everybody is treating Kelly Cadigan like an honest actor when she's like, I'm literally here to just, like, shitpost and, like, make fun of people and then go home. And everybody's like, Kelly, what are your thoughts on the international conflict in, in Lebanon right now? And she's like, <laughs> ah, I don't know. Like, she... <sighs> Like, have you seen her fucking post about be being like being like the only true transsexuals are are homosexual transsexuals or whatever? Like, it, it, and she's like, she's like, she's 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 being the one real HSTS trans girl or whatever is like her her is what she posts about now. I, I, I don't understand how people like take her seriously or, 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 or like, what is this like willingness to like like earlier in the stream she was like, oh, I see your TikTok. I think I, I, see, I think you make you raise a lot of salient points, and it's like. It's like, what are you what are you doing engaging like with this like clown of a person no it's um, so funny because she genuinely is just like i don't know i'm just here to make these stupid little videos and like make my money on the <laughs> the tiktok avenue red uh rev share or whatever the fuck and they're like anyway so tell me your thoughts on netanyahu and it's like well, you guys, she has like no fucking idea what she's talking about you guys <laughs> very funny to me okay, i'm sorry i'm sorry the trans community that i don't think is valid the whole side okay. doesn't want well, to look now we're really <laughs> like I, I genuinely sometimes get so hateful to the point where like i, I have so much resentment towards the non-binary community and anyone that identifies as trans that doesn't try at least to pass because i feel like that's a huge reason why we're not accepted as yeah. much as it could be and it pisses me off I, I think, <laughs> here's a retrospect into personal question that i sometimes feel because like god kelly i know you don't really know me but i feel exactly what you said so much and sometimes i just feel very frustrated but like is it a little bit, and I feel as we're all probably guilty of a, you didn't have to go through this, so fuck you trying to co-opt my pain. And I do sometimes wonder if I ever have to take a step back and look at my own life and how I view my emotions towards this extension. I know it's a very self-aware point, but sometimes I do have to think about that. Why are we asking for Kelly Cadigan to engage in <laughs> introspection and self-awareness right now? Like, what do you think the answer is going to be? Like, I already know what the answer is going to be, but... <laughs> I don't know what the answer is going to be. What is Kelly Cadigan uh, going to say about this? I have no, she's probably going to say like, now that I think about it, you've called to my attention that I might just be projecting my emotions onto others. And I think that you're right, that my lived experiences are different and it's okay if we all experience things differently. I think that's what it's going to be. <laughs> fucking like, fucking like, um, <laughs> white girl does two seconds of introspection or whatever, like fucking like the, the fucking like copy pasta or whatever the fuck. Uh, uh, it's just so funny. It's so funny to me. Like, <laughs> I'm going to die, dude. I, I definitely. Like, I like 19, dude. Like, what is Bronick um, doing? Yeah, I, like, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> It's just, I don't know, dude. Like, and the thing that I think is really interesting as far as the the concept of like projection or um, appropriation is the word that a lot of people use. I think to an extent there, there are instances where I feel that's applicable. I remember I saw like a post and it was an AMAB person who got like stylized top surgery tattoos and was like, I just really relate to like the trans masculine oh, experience. And I was I, like, I, I was like, that gives me the ick. And the reason it gives me the ick is because it is like appropriative of an experience that is something that's like, you know, pretty, pretty kind of a big deal to like trans guys. And I really didn't like that at all. But I don't think that you can like, say a pro crazy to me. I, it's like, it's like, it was wild. I didn't comment. But I don't think that you can say like appropriation in regards to like, just like a different experience of dysphoria or like identity. I don't know if you can call that appropriation. Yeah. And it's, it's it's like it's like it's like most like non-binary people usually just sort of like like it's, it's sort of it's way more common for them to be like yeah so like this is sort of like my experience I don't I don't really want to like step on anyone else's experience or whatever it's like and and then just like but, but like like these sort of types like have this like like archetype of like of like like they're imagining fucking like, like an army of like Karl Maxes or whatever the fuck and it's like it's like it's like these people are like generally in my experience like a minority most non-binary people yeah. just sort of like want to like, like exist. Well, and it's fine to say like, hey, the people that are loud and obnoxious are loud and obnoxious. And these are kind of the people that I'm talking about. I'm not really talking in like generalities about like tri like uh, non-binary people or whatever. But like, I think it's interesting that we have this this understanding of non-binary people having like such main character syndrome that they have to make everything about them. And, you know, like uh, I'm going to say that I'm trans because I want the attention from it and this, that and the other thing. But like you said, like everybody that I've known that has been non-binary, they're usually like, well, for me, like this is what gender feels like to me. And this is the way that I like to express my myself and it's it's very like it does happen for sure but it's very rarely where they're like anyway so everybody feels this way right it's very rarely yeah, exactly. that it's it, it also well, funny enough usually people like in their circle like fucking like carl max or, or like i don't know 
who was who's that fucking like destiny orbiter was it rem is it is that who it was like who was oh about? yeah uh <laughs> rem rem the bath boy God, i fucking hate that guy <laughs> rem the bath boy yeah it's but, but but these are people in like brianna it was like immediate sort of like like, like social circle or whatever it's, so, so it's like it's like the fire she's worried it, maybe, maybe maybe that's why she thinks it because it's it's like it's the, it's the fire in our in her own in her own house so to speak yeah, um, I but if I remember correctly, Rem is annoying as all fucking get out. But I don't remember Rem ever like offering broader prescriptions based on like his experiences. Like the only thing that I remember was the conversation that he had with Demon Mama, and it was literally just kind of like it was like more of Brianna's uh, position on things than anything like arguing against the idea of uh, like non-binary deer gender shit. Unless I'm totally. This was like a. This was like this was the thing on Twitter where he was being weird as fuck about like like HRT. He's making very strong claims. Oh, that's HRT. right, that's right. And then, I, okay. And then, mm. and then when people were like, "Are you on HRT?" He's like, "I'm trans. Are you denying my ability to speak on this issue?" And I like, remember. Okay. Five. Okay. Yeah, it was it, it was insane. As, yeah. Okay. So that is fucking annoying. And I would say the same thing, like I said earlier about Karl Max, where it's like, there's nothing more irritating to me than people who are like, "I'm the expert on this topic," and it's like, "What have? What do you mean you're the expert on the topic?" Like. <laughs> What have you, please share your valued lived experience with the class on all of these issues that you speak so passionately about. And they're like, well, I got a haircut. And you're like, okay, well, okay, hang on, back up. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or am I just a spiteful little bitch? <laughs> no, I don't think you're spiteful. I think if somebody's punching you all day, it's a very human response to want to punch them back. I was, I was really struck by a pew poll that came out. Uh, Non-binary abuse that, confirmed. Uh, that uh, for gay people, when gay people were fighting for the it's the it's the ball. The poll. It's the the poll. I was freaking out about this earlier. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, there was this really interesting statistic that came out, and it was if someone was more, if someone actually knew a gay person in real life, they were much more likely to support gay rights. Um, for trans people, it's actually the opposite. Where if someone knows a trans person, this is a Twitter poll, right? No, it's a, she, she said it's a Pew poll, but she made it the fuck up. There's like there because there is Pew polling on this, and it says the fucking opposite. She made bullshit. It you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. And like, like she goes on to be just to say like oh I think it was like an 18, 18 percentage point drop or whatever percentage of know. people who like trans who know who know a trans person right yeah exactly like it's it's like it's like here and like I, was, I, was, I, I had polling on this earlier let me find it like um like oh it's this I, one right I, here I, I was flabbergasted knowing someone who is transgender in 2021 it's 42 percent in 2017 it's 37 percent um. Most Republicans say they are uncomfortable using this partisan differences on whether sex is determined by gender at birth. I don't know if this is the one that I want. Maybe it is. Uh, this, this, this is the poll that I looked up earlier. Uh, the majority of those who did not know a trans person says that whether a person is a man or a woman is determined by sex. Sixty-eight uh, percent. Well, those who do know a trans person are more evenly split. About half say uh, gender is determined by sex assigned at birth. While fifty-one, or excuse me, fifty-one percent. While forty-eight percent say, "Oh, so they are like it's it's a pretty what is that seventeen percent drop?" If you know a trans person, like you're like, no, I don't yeah. think. Oh, so it is just backwards. She just has it fucking backwards. Like, it's like, is, it, like, is is that what it is? Because I, I forget the number that she says later on. So maybe if, if it is seventeen percent, like maybe, maybe she just read it or whatever. But it's like, I it's like I don't know how she like. And th it also stands in like total opposition to like literally everything we know about like the entire fucking field of like, um, of like being in contact with people like makes you more like it like it, it makes you like more sympathetic to them or, or whatever like it's, it's like it's like this is like an entire like sort of like corner of like psychology we're just like about literally everything exposure makes you like more favorable towards it you see it with like with like with like bigots or whatever or it's like the more that they, they, they encounter them like the less bigoted they get or whatever it's so so staunchly like in opposition so i don't know how she's like how she feels comfortable like saying that when, when it should be like triggering like her like fucking like her fucking like uh like like common sense alert or whatever and then to just like not like fucking like cite it at all or like not give any sort of like a further in, in, like indication of, of where she got i was losing my fucking mind about this because it's such, a, it's such an insane like claim to make well and yeah i mean it is true that like people that are more worldly and people that like know more uh diverse people or like have diverse or friend groups are like significantly more tolerant to most everything just like by virtue of being exposed to all this shit so like i don't know in what world that like knowing more trans people would actually make it worse it would only make it better 
it's I I I was like I, like I I wish I could fucking ask her about this um because this was insane to me anyways okay 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 in real life they are way less supportive of trans rights and i think a certain part of that <laughs> that's is not this, true it, it is true i couldn't believe it and i saw it and i was stunned by it uh, it's i believe 18 points lower um so oh, it's 18 it's like 18 points higher though oh so she <laughs> she just misread it okay 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 <laughs> okay <laughs> so there is a i think there's a component of this i think at the core level trans people are making enemies a lot faster than they're making friends and i think that that sometimes i, I know it factors in my desire to sometimes go to war if that makes sense I don't have the intake to know what you feel, Olive, but I know that people do, who need help, need help. And if they, are, if they are rightful in their claim, I will assist. So that's not co-opting the pain of others. It's really trying to help when it's needed. All right, good, good talk, everyone. I'm going to head out. i got to give my friend Oh, thank God. Bye, questions. Aaron. So, Bye. So Fuck you, Aaron. 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 <laughs> oh, Aaron's leaving? She's a nice yeah. Bye, Aaron. Um, I feel like... Um, We're both getting cancelled for saying that. Huh? I know, I know. She's kind of... She's really pretty face. She reminded me of Hunter's face. Right? Also, whose mic is that? That's awful. Yeah, somebody's static. Great. I also feel like um, about what you said, like, being a kind, just a kind, respectful person to others, people are going to act kind and respectful back to you. So I totally believe that statistic of what you said. Like, yeah. if you're going to, like, there's a lot of, like, people who act obnoxious or use the trans label, like academics, young academics who use it as, like, a way to be rebellious who aren't really trans. When does Karl Marx come on? I'm bored. When does Karl Marx come Karl on? Karl Marx come on to this panel? Holy shit, this was, this, this really was the nightmare of, like, blood rotation. Yeah, because I saw a screenshot, like, because I saw that Brianna posted that on Twitter. And I responded to it and I said, never beating like the transphobic allegations. Where are all the trans men? And then Brianna goes, Carl, she posted a screenshot and she goes, don't worry. They came on and started talking over all the trans women. <laughs> <laughs> she was talking about Carl Max. <laughs> I don't know if it was about Carl Max, but I, she might be talking about this Southern guy. I don't know who the fuck that guy is. Okay. But Carl Max supposedly comes on. Where is he? For the record, Carl Max uses any pronouns. So I'm not misgendering him. They're impossible to misgender. You can't miss Jenner Carl Max. Motherfucking Claire. Let's go, Claire. Okay, that'll be good. Go back a little bit. Oh, that oh. one? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> She's a little unhinged, but that's okay. We're all a little unhinged here. You Wow, man. Wow, I can't catch you in any direction. Do you want bigger government or are you a right? Or... Not, I'm, I'm closer to the monarchist. Is that Endless Cemetery? <laughs> is that Endless Cemetery who's talking right now? Who the fuck is Endless Cemetery? Oh, oh my god. Endless Cemetery is uh, another guy from the politics sphere who talks about trans stuff who's cis, and I always think it's interesting. Okay, let's back up a little bit. We got to minarchist territory, and I <laughs> want to... It's a fucking monarchist or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I want to try and... Minarchist, minarchist, I think is what. Minarchist? <laughs> Which is even worse. So let's let's back up just a little bit. I want context. <laughs> my point is, is that, so those are not uh, productive to the sustainability of life yep. in that aspect, but they can marry, in my opinion, because who gives a fuck? I mean, like I said, it's, it's a, you know what I mean? Like, since it's been passed in the United States, like, let it leave it up to the states. But like I said, just, I don't against it personally. Why, oh, aren't we the United fucking States? That's, like, why are we allowed no, to make I mean, the United States. Kelly Cadigan with the fucking base take. Aren't we the United <laughs> States? Let's go, Kelly. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> god she's an icon dude i i hope that she's just like doing this for fun because if she like she will have my utmost respect if she was like yeah i've just been fucking with you guys the whole time i just think this is hilarious <laughs> i can't like like i do kind of respect it when like when like when like people who are just like fucking insane or whatever are just are, are just like doing it like 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 for the walls or whatever it's like, it's, like that's I, why I, like, I, like, I am uh that's why i'm pearl's biggest fan I love like just pearly things. I love. She's so funny, dude. She just says <laughs> she the craziest kind of shit. Way, yeah. Like she'll be in a room full. She'll go on like the Jubilee panel about like fat acceptance or something, and then somebody will be in the middle of talking, and she'll go, "I have a question for everybody. Do you think that we should kill all fat people?" And you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> "I love her. I love her. She just she's crazy, but she's free." Like, what what was the other thing that she? Oh, she was. I forget who she was talking to, but just like in the middle of the conversation, she was like, yeah, but anyway, this is why I don't think that women should be allowed to vote. And you're just like, Pearl, <laughs> nobody was talking about that. <laughs> it's so fucking entertaining. I love her. Kelly Cadigan is the trans, just pearly things. <laughs> and I fucking love that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. State, that's, I mean, we're... Well, I mean, like me, I live in Maine. 
one of the most liberal states in the country. I moved up here because I fled out here in my life from Arkansas. But anyone so who travels state to the has... United States is is made aware by the traveling agency that each state is different. Like you have to yep, exactly. not commit the same. Pro- that way, that, that's not how America is supposed to be. So, but, but that's how- <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's domestic policy takes are giving me fucking life, dude. I'm <laughs> I'm so gassed up right now. <laughs> Yeah, guys, it's really up to the states to determine this. Isn't it the United States? Say it, (laughs) Kelly. Say it. You're right, and you should say it. (laughs) I love her. You're pulling me on her. I kind of love her now. Dude, I, I don't... I honestly don't think that she... It's like being serious. I think she's just LOLing. And I don't know which is funnier. If she's like dead serious or if she's just kidding. I don't know what's funnier. (laughs) But I just love this like, yeah, well, you know, states have the right to decide. But it's the United States. (laughs) You know what? Like, I I think I think that the the fact that people hate her is it's proof that like we don't respect female comedians. (laughs) You guys think that women aren't funny. Okay, but what about (laughs) Kelly Cadigan? Oh my fucking god, I'm deceased. Come on, Kelly, tell us more about states' rights. <laughs> you are, I believe, at least to the right, to some degree. So you would believe in smaller government, which would be not the Fed. I would want bigger government. You, wow, man, wow, I can't catch you in any direction. Do you want bigger government, or are you a right? Or... I, I'm, I'm closer to a monarchist. A, a monarchist? What the oh, fuck? God. An American monarchist? <laughs> Does he mean minarchist? Is is it his accent and we don't know what he's saying? <laughs> it can't be that big as like aren't, aren't minarchists like like small government? Like he's like justifying like why he likes the big government or whatever. Like he, he... minarchists are basically like like insane libertarians. Uh the first time that I heard this term was um Sarah Higdon is a minarchist. It's uh they believe in minarchism, which believes the government's only function is protect to, to protect the rights of the citizens. So it's basically like an extreme and cap. They got like the like the night watch state or whatever the fuck like like it exactly only exists to, like it's to, to, like exactly fucking, like, exactly it was, a, it was a fucking it was a fucking J Reg character like it's a fucking meme yeah dude I <laughs> I just <laughs> that's so funny yeah I think that he I think that he means minarchist I, I think, think he's being monarchist because I think he's saying why he wants like a big government like I think he's saying like he wants to be crushed under the weight of a king. That's actually kind of hot, though. <laughs> I can respect. Yeah, I can. I, I can respect that. I'm not gonna kink shame. I mean, I'll I'll do the kink shaming. That's like kind of gay, but also like I I mean, okay, that's you know that's better than like being in defeat. I guess I take what I'm getting. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Got given rights. All right. Are you so saying you that? This is a troll, right? No, I'm not a troll. That's where my grandmother was. I, I, I just feel like you've given rights yourself like three times. I feel like you're right wing, but. The stances you have are bizarre to me. Come out, we're gonna get drunk. I'm gonna get him all fucked <laughs> up and everything. We're gonna have a good time. Then we're gonna bring him around. We're gonna have a threesome. Okay, stop, everyone. If one thing can... Yup, yup, we had a threesome with a tranny. No, you're right. Yup, if one thing can... Yup, yup, we had a threesome with a tranny. No, you're right. If this chat has proven one thing, it's that everyone here is very, very definitely mentally ill. Everyone's tranny! 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 Everyone's Wait. Totally aware. It's okay. The point of view, but okay. Yeah. If I'm being honest, I think that he meant a minarchist. Okay. I think that that's what he meant because they're like they're I, like the small government people. I want to hear him talk about this honestly. We'll see. I don't know if we'll. I don't know if oh, we have sorry, enough. Kelly, can you um message me? I want to talk to you with something while we're here. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> but it's funny. yeah, but it's kind of funny. Oh, kind of. Fine, I'm sorry. Fine, you guys are fucking boring. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Started, so you can go on <laughs> this is a nightmare. What is happening? Is, is it's like, like, like the chat or like, like the? No, I think they gave somebody like speaker privileges and they just played that Cardi B clip really fucking close to their microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Cardi B. Oh my. Yeah, god. that was a Cardi B clip. <laughs> Oh my god, this is a nightmare. This is so fun. I love this. I'm so sad that I missed this live, dude. Tears, real tears. Cardi it's B so funny. Saying it's it's like, I think she's allowed it. No, it's fine. I'll take. The, I'll be the bigger person. What do we want to talk about? What are we fucking talking about? Political. Why don't I do for discussion? Just okay. nobody knows. Oh, we were talking about oh, right. uh, like bullshit, right? Right. Well, right. Well, right. Well, right. Well, politics are bullshit as well. I, I really don't care about politics at this point. You, you, you can't say you're against gay marriage and be like, I don't give a fuck about politics. You're a trans man. You're against gay marriage. Like, what do you fucking mean? Let's go, Kelly. Uh, I've been for a while. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but get like, it. Get if your religion or your moral compass is like, oh god, no gay marriage, but you're like, God, I can make a fucking gender transition and get a fucking phalloplasty. Yeah, get him, Kelly. Well, you're addressing the line. 
in the Dude, time. Kelly's totally trolling. She's hiding her power level. This is based. <laughs> she's totally bullshitting everybody. There's no way she's this based unintentionally. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. Like, 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 she's 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 like sounded at, at like how stupid he is or whatever, and like can't help herself but like go in on him, right? Like, like is that what's going on right now? That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like she had to put down like her her like mask for a second she had to take it off just for a moment to dunk all over this dude what the fuck are you talking about what what, what the fuck do you mean that's so funny i love her honestly i'm her biggest fan now i know i'm like actually kelly got kelly get (laughs) kelly cadigan is fucking spit right now you guys everybody go subscribe okay (laughs) show the queen some love yes uh where is her youtube does she have does she have a donation tab she's getting some money (laughs) where is she (laughs) oh this is good dude this is good you are dressing a line that he did not dress by himself, I guess. Well, it's sense. really complicated. <laughs> you really should pay attention, I guess. <laughs> Even the I French guy shit on him. Like, what are you saying? I'm saying that, uh, trying to say that you're against gay marriage, but you're for transition. It's giving some inputs that were Wait, not those are required. Cool. That makes those don't make sense. Say, say, say that sentence. No, like, yeah, he's like, you. It's weird that you're like. I hate gay people, but like I should be allowed to transition. That is, I would say that's weird. I would agree with that one. I think that's kind of an easy take. Is that a crazy no take? Is that a hot that. take? <laughs> I think that's pretty normal. I, I want to know why he's against gay marriage now. Like, what's going on in his head? Who Who is this man? Is it this Jacob? It, Let's see, Jacob. Jacob. Is this the same guy as the minarchist? Yeah, I think it's the. So the, 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 the trans man minarchist anti-gay marriage dude. Like, uh, I... Hang on, this is so small on my screen. Jacob. Is this the one? I can't tell who's fucking talking. Or is it? Oh, it's Ryle. Ryle is the one that's talking. The, the southern guy. R-Y-L-E. Ryle. It's not J.C. Ryle. It's just Ryle people. Let's see. Profile picture. Just a southern boy. That's what this profile picture is. Okay. God, how many fucking people are named Ryle on Twitter? I didn't think this would be this hard. <laughs> Hello? Somebody find me this guy's Twitter. Somebody in chat find you me this you, guy's Twitter. You, so Twitter is a fucking broken app. I don't think you can search for like display names. Like, like it, needs, it needs to be the app. It's showing me the display names, but there's so many fucking people named Ryle. I wish that their apps were like here. It just says speaker. Like I know Kelly, <clears throat> I know her, I know Claire. I don't know who this Jacob guy is. I, he said that his name is Ryle, so it's got to be this guy, or yeah, it's got to be this guy. But how many Ryles are there? And then also, like, even see what that fucking profile picture is. And then his name is just Ryle. That's all it is. Ryle K. Britain Ryle, Ryle Football, Chris Ryle White. Help me. Okay, I'll do this later. Okay, sorry. My bad. You can continue. I don't agree in any way, but I can see how they logically arrived at that. No, I agree entirely, but I can see the logic behind I see the logic behind I'm saying that the world is fucking complex. So I see the logic. What did you say just earlier? Chill out. It made no sense. This is like a horse. I think when you go to any type of Asian birthday party, party. No, they're playing the Cardi B shit again. All they do is. Sing karaoke, sing dancing queen, do the cha cha slide. What's Whoever has that soundboard, I love you. <laughs> Either way, I'm not going to say anything, y'all, or not. The air troll. No, I'm not. I swear, I swear on that. I swear on that. Okay. I swear. Men are like in love and they want to solidify their relationship with like a, a document, a piece of paper. Like, like, do like a. Like, Sorry. I'm, I'm gonna steal her joke that she messaged me. I just love that a bunch of men came to the chat and ruined everything. Nice. Like, I don't care like if it's on paper. Like I said, just I'm against it because it's only supposed to be between a man and a woman. But Ryle. Oh, but uh, but uh, Ryle, <laughs> Ryle, what are you doing, King? What are you doing, bud? <laughs> that I wasn't ready for that answer. I wasn't ready for that one. Okay. <laughs> You're not really a man, just like I'm not really a woman. So nah, that's great. Kelly, uh, coming out coming with, with the big guns. Like, mind your own fucking business, dude. Ooh, nah, get him! I tried to do that, and yet gay people tried to force marriage on me. Tried to get me to go with them, and I'm not in. Oh my god, the gay people tried to make him get gay married. Did you hear that? <laughs> How fucking terrible! Oh no. What is this art? They tried to force me to get gay married. You guys, what? 
how did this how did this pro- this is just proof to me that it's like it's like like the in there's there's something like innateness about transness that's so powerful that even fuckers like this like like it can't help but like it's like it's it's, it's like, like this this the, this guy couldn't suppress it or whatever like he had to like like he, he had, like he still had to like like become a man or like transition <laughs> uh, in spite of his like deeply held view that the gays are like immoral or whatever the fuck. Like, this is just so real, though, because it's like, you say that, you know, trans women aren't women, yet here is everybody ignoring Kelly Cadigan's com- comedic genius. <laughs> and you say, you say with a straight face that trans men are not men, and here's this guy fucking steamrolling this conversation and hating gay people <laughs> and silencing women. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> it's a man from the South saying this. This is like, the, the, he should feel extremely gender affirmed right now, in all honesty. I mean, I feel affirmed for him. I'm like, wow. <laughs> That's a man. That's a man. I gotta turn up your mic a little bit. Because I have mine down because the the okay. dude the dude here, his microphone is so fucking loud compared to everybody else's. I was like, hello. Okay. Bro, you're forcing your weird That's the straightest thing. Wait, can you try to force marriage on That's the straightest thing I've ever heard. I like gay dudes, just they better not hit on me. I don't I mean I don't I bet that motherfucker is the ugliest guy you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> I don't mind gay people, but they better not try to homosexually seduce me. Meanwhile, you look like a thumb. Okay. I, this is the kind of content that I live for. I'm so pissed that I missed this. This would have been so fun, bro. I, okay, so I, I am, I am if nothing, nothing if not a hater. It's so fucking funny to me that Brianna Wu is like, this is her work account. This is her job. She, like, she takes this like super fucking seriously. But it's like all she fucking does are, like, is like, is like, be the ringleader for like most entertaining fucking circuses you've ever fucking seen. It's like, it, I, I, it's so fucking funny to me. This it's is like, it, 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 the juiciest <laughs> drama. The, she like, claims like, to hate entertainment, yet is, it is very, very, very entertaining. What is this going is on there? This is the sloppiest shit ever. I'm here <laughs> for this. I love this. Like, this is right up my alley. Like, I'll take the torch if Brianna doesn't want to do this and she wants to do real life <laughs> shit. I am happy to sit here and laugh at this shit for hours on end. This is so funny, bro. <laughs> This is great A content. I love this. I'm having so much fun. They're not hit on me. Like, dude, they, 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 they want to slap me on the I ass. I don't think all so. I, I really don't. Gay guys want to slap you. Okay, imagine that you were sexually harassed one time and you're like, I think that we should kill all women. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, the, like, this man is honestly a little bit of a king because I'm just, I'm just so, like, amazed at, like, at, like what is, what is going on with him? He's a, he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I have never seen like a manlier man. Like, if, if, to be honest, <laughs> a gay guy slapped my ass once. I think that we should kill all gay people. It's like that's the the straightest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. Holy fuck, dude! <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't believe that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Your definition of a guy trying to marry you was light sexual harassment. What? It was a statement, it was a statement that was quite, kind of violent, complicated. But like, like I said, it's just it made me extremely uncomfortable. So, who cares? So two gay. Yeah, and grow up. So uncomfortable, but getting a fallow plan. Yes, and uh, I mean, for example, I'm very, I'm disgusted about two women going down on each other. I'm disgusted by even. What oh. did you do before you transitioned? What did you just like <laughs> sat in the cuck chair? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> is this dude like, like, like is? You know how, so you know how like Iran is like is like you can't be gay. If you are gay, you can either die or we're going to forcibly transition you so that you're straight. Like, yeah. Like, is is he like the like the like like the the Christian version of like Iranian pilot? Is that what's going on here? It might be, dude, because, like, <laughs> all I'm saying is you're like, you know, I fucking hate gay people, for one, so obviously he's not gay. I think we've confirmed that. And then he's like, and the thought of two women going down just makes my skin crawl. <laughs> and it's like, hello? Was it, I'm, I'm missing something then. Are you, are you trying to tell me you don't fuck? It's, 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 it's so, like, it's so beautiful, honestly, that, like, that, that like, that, that like, that, like, like masculinity can shine through so much that it, that 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 it can it can discern like two examples of a woman eating pussy. Like it, it's it, it's like it's like it's like like the masculinity of of one situation is so is so present there that he's not disgusted by it anymore because because it, because it, it reads it straight to him. I'm just like this is a win for trans people, honestly. I have been out transgendered right now. This is great. This is crazy. That's so. Oh my god. I remember a long time ago. Uh, there used to be like a Facebook group called FTM No Rules, and everybody would just like shit post and like attack each other all the time, constantly. And there was this guy, and we got into an argument about something, and he was like, "Why don't you go and scissor your girlfriend?" And I was like, 
Why don't you go and scissor yours? Like, what are you talking about? You also have a pussy. Who are you trying to flex on right now? What are you talking about? Like, that's I you. I love this. <laughs> that's crazy. So he just doesn't fuck. Okay, cool. We love a celibate king. <laughs> like, okay. What the fuck? Uh, this is your bullshit. From, this is like, uh, your problems. You're disgusted like your own fucking weird personal shit. Do you uh, understand uh, what you have? I mean, people come for me for my open wound. Do you know what the fuck you have? I mean, Kelly! I, I, like I said, I've never had a relationship, so... Oh, <laughs> it's confirmed. He doesn't fuck. It's confirmed. He doesn't fuck. Holist behavior. Okay. All right. He's saving himself for Christ. Based. Well, so, I mean, every, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'll say the reason why, because every woman that has ever wanted me, I spend with either five, ten guys, either ugly as fat, fat, or... Is this <laughs> is this the transgender? Oh my god, we have two Pearl Davises in this call. All these women are low quality women. They fuck so many guys and they're <laughs> ugly as shit. They're fat. Oh my god. <laughs> I fucking I, I, I fucking Oh my god. I love this man. Hello. <laughs> what the fuck? I fucking I, He did not just fucking say that. Oh my god. Is is it is this person trolling? Like is is too good to be true. This is too good to be real. <laughs> All the hoes are too ugly for me. Oh my god, dude, this is great. This is great. Oh my god, we found crying. Oh my god. We found the only trans band Andrew Tate fan. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, gonna... I'm fucking dying. Oh, this is amazing content. You listen, food shops, I honestly wish you the worst in life. Thank you for recording this. This will be like the one shout out I have for you. I fucking hate you, dude, but like thank you for doing oh this. Oh my fucking god. I love this. Oh god, this is good. This is good shit. We're just uh, fucking stupid. I'm there because he said he had PTSD, so maybe his realm of thinking does not allow him to be stable and to understand that. I love the boomerang effect here where he's like, it sounds like you're too mentally ill to date, and this guy's gonna blow a fucking fuse. I'm not mentally ill. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I I love this man. Oh, I love him. I want to I want to have a beer with this guy. This guy would be fun. To, this guy would be fun to talk to. This guy would be so Hang on. I need to message Brianna right now. Hang on. I'm going to say Queen. This Who Twitter space, Ryan? Twitter space is better than Jerry Springer. Please <laughs> do not try and pretend you don't love this shit are you, too. Are you actually LOL. sending this to her? Oh yeah, my God. this is hilarious. I said, Queen, this Twitter space is better than Jerry Springer. Please do not try and pretend you don't love this shit too. LOL, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh my can you God. Ask her if she knows like who the guy is, so, so that we can like find him. Yes. Um. Also, do you know who this Ryle dude is? I love this man. <laughs> I would. I, ugh, this is probably like like the one man like where like we're we're, we're we're like we're like I could get like like comically sexually harassed by him and I would burst into laughter because of, like because of, of like the absurdity of the situation. He's the one the one the one man. I want this guy to like come on stream and call me a slur, I, and he's just like I fucking hate you gay people, and I'm just like <laughs> true, like say less, like. <laughs> honest to god if i if this if i can figure out who this guy is if he does want to come on stream dude i'm gonna put on my american flag visor and just be like yeah i totally agree all those gay people are actually fucking disgusting and i i agree they hit on me all the time too it's hard being a sexy man but not in a gay way but not in a gay way i would love that that, that would be peak content I'm doing that. I also have always said that if I ever talk to Buck Angel, I'm going to do my Buck Angel voice the whole time I'm talking to him and see if he notices. What's your Buck Angel voice? Who is this Calvin Garrar? Who is he? <laughs> All of these transgender, non-binary, not while Tranpa's alive. And just see, if he, just see if he notices that I'm doing That's it. That's good. That's good. Uh, I can do a good Fred Durst impression and a Buck Angel impression. Those are like my two. My two party tricks. Nobody knows who the fuck Buck Angel is, though, like in my real life, so that one doesn't really work, but everybody loves my, my Fred Durst cosplay. <laughs> Here's Fred Durst. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm not fucking kidding you right now. He's the lead singer of Limp Biscuit. Oh, okay. Oh, my friend was giving me shit the other day for, like, not knowing, like, like, like anything about any music other than, like, hyperpop. Hang on, I gotta do my- I gotta take my headphones off. I have to- it's- it works better when I don't have my mustache, because he's got, like, his- just the goatee. And I'm going to see Limp Biscuit this summer, so I'm going to shave my goatee into, like, the little Fred Durst. And then I, obviously not the snapback, I need, like, a baseball cap. I have one, I just don't have it up here with me, and I... It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up! Everything is fucked! Everybody sucks! That's my... 
That's my Fred Durst impression. Oh, it's this guy. With, yeah, with yeah weird, it's that like, guy. With, with the weird goatee. Yeah, with the weird goatee. That guy, yeah, yeah. Ugh. So when I go and see um, Limp Biscuit this summer, I'm going to shave my goatee like that, and I'm going to dress up like Fred Durst. I'm going to wear, like, the Etnies and, like, the baggy-ass fucking pants, you know, and the baseball cap. That'll be awesome. It'll be pretty hot. It'll be pretty hot. I'm here for it. Okay, I'm dying to see what what uh, Ryle has. To, Ryle? I'm dying to hear what we have next. Uh, there are, uh, hard, life can be hard on people. And I, and I will never die a friend like that, so I'm sorry to say it. <laughs> and if he, he cannot go beyond what? those thoughts, I cannot claim that... This poor French guy just... Nobody cares what he, he has to say. He is, he is very wrong. Maybe, <laughs> maybe from a greater no point of view, from a greater point of view, maybe from his point of view, I cannot say he's wrong in thinking... But we're not talking about his point of view. This is why I say the trans community is all mentally ill but me. Because what the fuck? Okay, but she was so real for that. She was so real for just saying that. The trans community no, is mentally yeah, ill except for her. She's right. She should say it. <laughs> oh my god. This is... Wow. I can't believe I'm a Kelly Cadigan fan now. Weird turn of events. <laughs> intoxicated. I agree. No, no, no. I love her. I... I love her. I just don't know what to say. Are you serious? Me? Mm -hmm. If you don't see the hardship, I'm, 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 I'm sure you all heard the hardship. And I'm saying that I know that the PTSD prevents me from getting a fucking relationship, but I will never go with someone like that that's not want kids. I will as long never, as you're never going to be around anyone. That's not the issue, it's more your PTSD and nothing to do with anything else you just said. I just yeah, you so, but you heard it. Maybe it's part of it. Life from like a third world country or something at that point. Did we and we're not going to be a third world country, so that's where I escaped from. Where'd you grow up? Maybe you're just like a shitty person and it's not the PTSD. Shit hole, absolutely shit. That is a good point. It could just be you and your personality. Yeah. No, I mean, I, like I said, I tried going with people. I have tried going with girls, but every fucking girl, she turns out to be the exact opposite of what I want. Once she says she doesn't want kids, I don't want her. I cut off many women oh for that. Oh my god, but you gotta make her want to have kids with you. That's why you make I you tried that. Lovers. Do you not know how this shit works? I'm no, because I've never, I've never been in a relationship. All I'm hearing is I suck at relationships, I have conflicting views and PTSD, and I'm not addressing any of it. I'm That's all I'm hearing. Oh, oh the tides turn so fast on our king. Everybody before was like, oh my god, based, we love him. Yes, trans people are mentally ill. And now it's like, hang on, you don't like gay people? Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> I'm like, I'm like, like over the, I, it's like, it's like... I'm like over the moon like, that, that his hang up or whatever is like, is like, is a like girl not like, not like wanting kids or whatever. It's like, I, it's like... Also, he lives in Maine. Like, this is this is just me. I don't think that there's a shortage of women in Maine who want kids. I don't think that's... I don't think that's true. No, yeah. I... He's so fascinating. I love him. I love this man. Please be my friend. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. You know after like five, six beers, this guy's a hoot. You know it. <laughs> He's a hoot right now. You know, we get him a little sauced up and then we ask him, hey, like, what do you think about the Grand Canyon being a portal? And he's just going to fucking go off. It is going to be amazing. Uh, <laughs> I need to hear that. Can you please, as a favor to me, get this man drunk at some point so, so, so I can personally hear like, like what he's like? I think that I could convince him to do a podcast with me and we could call it like Beers with the Bros. And then it's just me asking him leading questions the entire time where I'm like, so what do you think about, like, black people? And he's like, oh, good lord, I need another beer for that one. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> Beers with the bros hating on the hose. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, he's going to be so down for that, dude. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to make that happen. That would that would make me so happy, you guys. That made me so happy. <laughs> I have a therapist. I'm not changing for, for her or nobody else. I'm literally never gonna fucking change. So there's that. And I'm, I'm Are you the type of guy like on the first date to like ask if someone wants kids? No. No, I'm not. No, I, I'm, I'm not that way. No, I'm not that way. But every girl, like I have said, they only wanted me just because I'm trans. That's always what they wanted. It's either, and then once they realize I have had a phalloplasty, they're either not interested or they're interested. And I mean, they're either, either lesbians or bisexual or whatever. Like, I will not go, like I said, with someone that has had a excessive body count. Okay, but when you're, okay, when, how old is, did we ever hear how old this guy is? When your batting average is this low and you're this old, you don't really get to be picky, okay? Like, I'm not saying that you have to, like, go, like, pick up a, a lot lizard or, you know, like, like buy a hooker or anything. But, I mean, like, you know, we have to be a little bit willing to compromise, you know what I mean? Like, 
Is he like? Is he complaining about like lesbian chasers? Right? Like, is this why he's homophobic against lesbians because he hates like lesbian chasers or whatever? That's what it sounded like. It sounded like he was like every none of them want to fuck me because I've had like phalloplasty. So maybe maybe he just had bad experiences with chasers, and so he's like all women are whores. Which I mean, I disavow, but I mean I I guess if you say so. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he's such an interesting person. He's so unique. Oh my god. I have never heard anyone like this. And I've listened to a lot of crazy people talk. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say crazy. Eccentric. I've heard a lot of eccentric <laughs> people talk. This man. Wow. What I wouldn't do for 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It would change my life, dude. <laughs> I couldn't make this guy up. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. That's you. Sorry, what'd you say? I just had a stroke. I couldn't make this guy up. Like, he's, he's, he's too perfect. It's like... No, like, he's, like, everything, could... like... This is how I feel when I watch Pearl. It's like, I never know what's going to happen next. Like, what's he going <laughs> to say now? Like, maybe, you know what? Maybe he didn't mean minarchist. Maybe he actually did mean monarchist. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's the this, the thrill of it all. I'm like, what is he going to say next? And I'm just on the edge of my seat, and I love it. You can't write dialogue for him. Like, it, 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 he's the only one. He's the only one. He's, he's staring at the blank page before him. He's opening up the dirty window. <laughs> he's letting the sun illuminate the words that he can't find. Like, I just... He is free in every way that I want to be. Like, oh god, I love this man. I love this man. <laughs> Sorry. That's not better than for the rest of my life. Yeah, and that's probably better for everyone. Wait, I'm confused. No. I'm confused about the guys, chill. Guys, chill. You, you really want kids, but you're an older post-op trans man. Uh, I'm 26. I'll be 26 later this month. Okay. Oh, he's gonna be 26. <gasps> I would have expected these takes from like a grandpa. At least there's time he's to learn. 26. At least there's time to learn, I guess. Silver linings. <laughs> this is so fucking juicy. I, 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 I thought from the uh, from the context that you were like an older guy. So I was no, I'm, I'm 26. Like like all the other trans men I've ever been around, they either fucking annoyed me to the point that I just want to be left alone. I cannot deal with the trans community. None of them understand me. I would have felt like that. Okay. And it seems like you fit in so Same. well. <laughs> okay, just just maybe uh, his, his, his position. You know, that was like the most insulting thing he's ever heard in his entire life when they were like, I bet you'd fit in well with the trans community. You know that that one's going to keep him up at night. <laughs> you know, it, it sounds like it sounds like he like, 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 like you, you crave his friendship. It sounds like he's craving your friendship, too. He's looking for like, like, like for a trans person he doesn't hate. We have to have bro time. We have to have bro time. Please, <laughs> Ryle, please let us have bro time. It will be so fun. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I promise. I will I will even be nice. I swear to God. Ryle, please. You're just so interesting. Hang out with me. He's yearning for it. He has a bunch <laughs> of points yearning for it. He, he doesn't know it yet, but we're destined to be best <laughs> friends. He doesn't know it yet, but we were meant to be simpatico together. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Perpetual Grimace says he sounds bald. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, please. <laughs> you guys are fucking crazy. Uh Vanessa for truth. This is a, a woolly hoodie. You can get it at Wooly Merch. <clears throat> L W O O L I. He's built. We should never allow the French to speak. I agree. <laughs> that was base. That was rude. Okay. <laughs> so true. We're cutting you off. Ryle, I just can't believe you don't support gamer. That's pretty fucked up. That's I mean, like, fucked like up. I said, like I said, it's my own opinion. You can have your own opinion. But I have my own opinion. Well, well, then just don't get gay married. Yeah. <laughs> it's just my opinion! Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Good one. <laughs> I love this. I love it. They're based off something. I'm, I'm super curious I'm where, is it based off, are you, are you Christian? I said I am a Roman polytheist. I only believe in traditional marriage. A Roman polytheist? Roman polytheist? I'm googling that Roman polytheist. He's a fucking what? pagan. Like he's a fucking like like he worships like fucking like Jupiter and shit. They worship many gods. They also worship spirits, rivers, trees, fields. It's like fucking like fucking like fucking like Percy Jackson Roman mythology shit. It, 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 it is is his religion. I feel like I'm getting stabbed to death in real life. This is <laughs> he's a fucking poly a Roman polythe polytheist, monarchist, right leaning <laughs> trans guy. Who hates the hose and is a turbo virgin at 20, what do you say, 24, 26? 26, 26. <laughs> please, dude. He has to be joking. He has to be, he has to be, please, please, bro, please. <laughs> I want to hear what, 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 what gods in the pantheon he worships. 
Let's do this really quick. Are the Roman gods homophobic? <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't be fucking homophobic because they're fucking like, like, like they're fucking like every single fucking one of them is like is like fucking the towel boy in the ass. Like it's it's like they're all fucking like all fucking gay. Okay, overall, these myths have been described as being culturally influential on Western LGBT literature. Apollo, the sun god of music, is considered the patron saint or the pat. I guess it wouldn't be a saint, but the patron of the sa of same sex love. Uh, Ganymede is is the, the is is Jupiter's like like cupbearer or whatever. It's like the like they, they named a fucking like moon of Jupiter after Ganymede. Um, this, Ganymede's the Greek name, but it's like it's like it's like it's like he's like, he's the god of like of like of like homosexual love. I'm just gonna homosexual... move this over here. Do you see this? This is the list. This is the list of all of the gay gods. Oh, of Apollo. Oh yeah. No, these no, are Apollo all the. These are all the gay. Like the whole. All of them are gay. No, all of yeah. No, hey, look, look at that Zeus and Ganymede at the end there. They're all fucking gay. No, because because like, what it was is 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 like to to the Greeks like it was it was straight as long as like you weren't the bottom or whatever. So every fucking like Greek god or whatever was was blowing the backs out of like every fucking twink they saw. I'm gonna fucking. I have to talk to this guy. <laughs> I have to do it. You guys, I, I mean this so much. I will physically hurt myself if I can't talk to this man. Please, <laughs> I need, I need to talk to this guy I, right now. <gasps> I want to know why, why he doesn't have an issue with the fact that his his literal gods are like, like gay. Like, like how, like how do, how does he feel about that? I need to does know. anybody ca does anybody catch this? Okay, let's keep listening. Does anybody catch this and say like, wasn't Zeus like mega gay though, bro? Hang on, we have to listen to this. Okay. I, I for one support everyone's ability to not be gay married if they don't want it. Oh <laughs> no, no one caught it. Honest question. Wait, Rogan, thumbs up or thumbs down? No, what? I don't think anybody caught it. Insane. Are you a Rogan fan? It seems like I'm just curious <gasps> as a pro no. question. Oh, he's not okay. a Rogan fan. I, I he's not a Joe Rogan fan. I literally can't predict anything about this man. I can't guess anything. I never know what's coming next. Oh my he's god. He's not a Rogan fan or he is? He's not a Joe Rogan fan. Okay. That's, a, that, that's not a surprise. I, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I... I can't guess his next move. He's got me fucked up right now. I don't know what's coming next. Like, usually I feel like I'm okay at kind of being like, okay, I kind of... I get the archetype. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you... If you like this, you're probably gonna like this thing, you know, by proxy or whatever. I can't do that here. I have no read. I have my powers are useless here. <laughs> there is no man on earth like like our man Ryle here. Which, by the way, it is funny as fuck that this. It's like it's like it's like 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 he chose like the like the fucking like um like stereotypical trans man the name transist whatever. name you could even think of yeah exactly it's like it's like it's like just another another detail about like like about our homeboy that i'm just in love with like holistically there's no one on earth like like ryle <laughs> he's he is truly the only ryle that matters he he's the main character he really is oh my god i'm floored okay ryle let's hear what you have. come on tell me more tell me more okay. oh my wait because like when trans men transition, they're transitioning into men, so they transition into like you know. I don't want to say the R word, but like idiots. Yeah, no, I get it. They still matter. Trans men transition into R words. New gender unlocked. Let's go. What, <laughs> dude? <laughs> I'm getting whiplash. I have no idea what these people are. I I can't predict any. I can't follow the flow of the conversation. I don't know where we're going next. Getting jerked around like a fucking rag doll. Yeah, no, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, right. Like like trans men can be themselves too. No, I mean, I'm pretty much it. It's validating. Okay, oh, so he agrees he's an incel. Didn't see that one coming. Relatable. No, I would be lying. I, I feel like the incel thing was was maybe there. I'm still surprised, but like, I mean, he seems like very self righteous. Where like, if somebody was like, "You're an incel," he'd be like, "I could get pussy whenever I want, but all these hoes are so ugly." But he yeah, took. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, that's what I that's, that's what I thought he would say. I just, I can't, I cannot predict, I cannot predict his, his answers. Everything is just what the opposite of what I would have thought to be true. I can't, oh my God, this is. I'm so <sighs> sad that they're not going in on, on the Roman polytheist thing. It's like, I, that's, that's... I had to Google it. So I imagine everybody was like, what the fuck does that even mean? Anyway, like, I, <sighs> oh my God, this is delicious. Brianna Wu is the Jerry Springer of a generation. Like <laughs> Brianna, Brianna hasn't talked in. Oh, Brianna isn't even in here anymore. Brianna, this she is- She left? Oh yeah, it's Kelly now. Kelly has it now. Brianna, I just oh. want to let you know, like, your career in politics, Queen, 
I know that it's your passion and let your passions consume you in life. I totally respect that. Find what you love and let it kill you, okay? You have a talent that you are wasting to bring together the most unhinged and unwell, unpredictable, mentally ill girlies to, sa- to satiate my need to be overstimulated with bullshit at every waking moment. You have pure unadulterated talent brianna and you are wasting it i need you to please consider doing this more for me please this is the realest fucking thing that i've ever fucking heard from like anyone oh my god she she's a wizard this is amazing amazing content and what did she say she said that um earlier she was like yeah this was my idea like we kelly hosted it but it was like my idea to do the space brianna listen again i know you love politics queen this is your calling this is what you were put on earth to do. Okay, this is like it's like 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 like, like, like she takes a step and like the chaos like 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 swarms around her, like the ocean surrounding a mountain. Like it just it, it, they just come to her. It it consumes her. She cannot outrun it because it's her destiny. That's why she's like, "Oh my god, you guys, another drama. How do I keep getting sucked into it? You are it. You will become it." It is who you can't escape destiny, Brianna. This is who you are meant to be. This is this is a sign from God that you are able to have this happen on a random fucking Wednesday night. The best content I've seen in God knows how long, Brianna. This is Brianna, please. <laughs> please. Uh, this is what you are meant to do. <laughs> I'm crying. This is amazing. I love this. Oh God. Let's keep going. This is so beautiful. Wait, what did she ask? Do you believe women should have equal rights? He's gonna say no. He's gonna say no. What do you think? Do you think he's gonna say no? <laughs> I think he's gonna say yes. Okay, okay, we're split down the middle. I think he's gonna say no. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? I didn't hear that. Women should have equal rights. Like I said, I'll leave this <laughs> Nobody could understand that. Hello, whoever was laughing, shut the fuck up. I hope he. Tro- tro- this is a troll. No, no, can you? No, it's another question. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, stop. This could be so logical. They could think women don't deserve rights, and that's why they transitioned. We haven't thought this through. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so he did say, he said no. Was that my guess or your guess? Okay, I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> that was your guess. That was your guess. <laughs> Oh my god, that's why he transitioned. He wanted he wanted he wanted more rights. <laughs> no, no, no. He he's he's the trans man that, that JK Rowling is scared of. Of of like of like of like of like of like, of like damaged women or whatever, like transitioning out of the patriarchy. Oh my it, god. It They're ruined about Ryle. Well, and remember earlier, I don't want to speculate, of course. I want to be very sensitive to my best friend here. Um he did say that he had CPTSD. So I wonder if if you know he's outrunning the misogyny if he's trying to of course i don't want to speculate i love my best friend ryle my best friend for life but like i don't know king like maybe that could be it like i don't know maybe that's the missing puzzle piece i don't know he would be a fascinating sort of like like sort of like like a case study like psychological case study i just want to like put him in a room with a 30 rack of Coors light and leave him alone for a few hours and just see what happens like in like the, in like the glass bubble, you know, like he, he's in the bubble and I'm like sitting on the other like double sided glass and I'm just like, interesting, interesting. Okay, like taking notes. <laughs> just like, like in space. <laughs> oh my god, my king, my king. Okay, let's hear about why women don't deserve rights. Well, besides being raised by my grandfather, that's very traditional as well. So. Okay, so traditional can lives, okay. Dude, be your own man. Dude, your grandpa doesn't need to inspire you to uh, say women don't have rights. Be your own man now. Just a sec, just, just a sec. Kelly, can you say more about your question? I just don't understand why women want equal rights. You know, I just kind of want... <laughs> Kelly! <laughs> Kelly's like, I can't, let him, I can't let him steal the thunder. She's like, this guy is giving me a run for my money right now. I really need to fucking step it up. <laughs> it's time to pull out the women shouldn't be allowed to vote card. <laughs> like, okay. Oh my god. Oh. Do everything. I don't want to. I don't want to. Not all women are you. Amen. Amen. Kelly has been true today. I just want. No, seriously. I just want yeah. to clean all day. I don't give a fuck. Let them handle the credit card. I don't want to vote. I don't give a shit. Yeah. That's, what I, that's fucking what I want with the fucking girlfriend. That's what I want, but I cannot get it. What I'm hearing is that you should date. <laughs> Oddly, 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 something that I would be glad to fulfill for a woman, you know, for for a partner. So like, it's exactly not. I, I think want. most it's cis straight men think that way. I mean, clearly you do and I do. It's pretty common biological 
um, tendencies to provide for a vulnerable, typically children and women. I mean, like, like I said, that's my entire problem with dating. I have tried to get some. You, you can't find. Uh, I'm sorry. You're interested in looking for um, a partner. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, but you want them to do not you're not finding any women out there that are like i don't want to work like I can't, I can't, I can't. bitch i don't want to work uh, ryle let's let's make this no homo dude like come on i don't want to work either let's go do you ship uh kelly cadigan and ryle like like, 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 like do you see like, like, this, this like working out they can... i i think that that would be i think that would break me but in the best way <laughs> no i think this is ideal for ryle because then could still have biological children no he couldn't because kelly got bottom surgery didn't she didn't, did she Fuck. i think that she did hang on i don't did kelly cadigan get bottom surgery? i think that she's had bottom surgery riles riles heart is breaking right now yeah she has had bottom surgery so they can't have biological children tear but like i don't know maybe the uterus transplant thing will take off like i think that they're meant to be together I think they're meant to be together. I really do. They really complement each other. Maybe, maybe she got like, 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 maybe she got it frozen. Maybe she got it. Oh frozen. yeah, she, that's true. They could do IVF. That is true. They could do that. That is a possibility. But also, like, what about like all the the poor, starving children across the globe? Don't you want to save them? I mean, well, I do. See, I personally would, but I feel like our man Ryle here wants biological virile children, children like of his own blood. Of his okay, own but blood. also I feel like he has a great fear that if he adopts a kid, they're not going to be white. Like he would be like, "I'm sorry, I can only have them from white English-speaking countries." Like, do not bring me immigrant children. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love this man. Please, God, let Kelly Cadigan and fucking uh, Ryle date. Please, they. <laughs> They're star-crossed lovers. It, it's meant to be, please. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, they're out there, and, and they're, they could be fun. <laughs> and not, not, like, a, lot, a lot of very submissive women, and my problem is, like dude, I said, you I, want submissive women? Just DM. Dude, you're fucking crazy, dude. You have to make <laughs> That's what you're not getting, bro. Like, you have to, like, sweep a girl off her feet, and then she's going to naturally want to be submissive to you. Yeah. 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 Kelly, thank you. I'm going to go mute now. Wait, what was you that advice? What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, but here's the deal. If you want, like, a traditional woman, the problem is that this level of hypocritic, hypocritical, like, traditionalism scares the hoes. Because when you, tell the, <laughs> when you tell them, you're like, yeah, I'm a trans guy, and they're like, oh, well, I mean, that's a little different, but I could probably work with that. And then you go, but I think that gay people, like, should fuck off. They're like, wait, one of these things is not like the other. Like, you're just, you're scaring the hoes. They don't know what's happening. You're giving the hoes whiplash. Look, okay, the Romans believed... He's a Roman polytheist. The Romans believed that everyone used to be like fucking like one person or whatever, and then they got split down the middle. Oh, the it, yeah, it, the red string yeah, theory. Yeah, and you need mm -hmm. to find your soulmate. I, you know, you, you know, you, you know, Mrs. Ryle is out there fucking somewhere. There is someone equally as fucking crazy like, out there for him. Yeah, but what if I what if she? It. But what if she's a hoe? Then it's not gonna work out. <laughs> what if she has a high body count? Then it's not gonna work out. Did you even consider for a second okay. that his soulmate could be a hoe? <laughs> Oh God, kill me, dude! This is so great. <laughs> Just to add, okay, go on. Again, again, like I said, I have tried that for years. I have tried dating app after dating app, but I get the exact opposite of what I want in a relationship. That's always what I get. I attract the wrong females. Dude, the wrong it's your bitter, and you don't. Like mm -hmm. Yeah, you seem to be going. How close are you getting to these girls? I'm impressed you're the game. If this is so important to you, how are they even getting in your atmosphere without knowing this? Like, dude, I could talk. I mean, I could find out if a girl was willing to sit on the bed with her throat bent over backwards before <laughs> I was. What was that sentence? Hang on. What the fuck? Out if a girl was willing to sit on the bed with her throat bent over backwards before I was. Bro, uh, that is that is not a way to talk about a lady. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Like, like he said that he can have the girl like bent over the couch with her throat open. Oh my! Oh wow. I don't think that's the kind of dating advice that Ryle is looking for. He obviously wants a traditional woman. That's hoe behavior. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Like, you're not doing this right. I want Steve in regards. It's it's weird, but I would say, yeah, ask me to do things and check if I do it correctly. And if I do not, try to gently push me toward the right direction. If it's your job, check and push. And I will try to do. And I, is this fucking JFK or Epi? Like, why is this I guy still here? Spare the, the pain <laughs> and all that. Just, if you have to be my partner, check what I do, tell me when I'm wrong, and try to and push me gently towards the right direction. 
Dude, you guys are crazy. No, I'm saying the reason why. Are, the reason why true. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The reason why I'm the way I'm the way is because I'm I had to I'm not saying I'm, I'm not. Hey, have, fun. Yeah. have you thought about trying like alcohol or drugs? It might loosen you. Up. <laughs> I mean, I'm... okay, okay. What's your take? Do you think that he is straight edge, or do you think that he drinks? No, no, he, he has. He has to drink at the Bacchanalias, but I think he's straight edge about like weed. I think I think he hates weed but loves wine. Okay, yeah, like I could see that he's like alcohol is fine, but the devil's lettuce is too much. Okay, <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna, I can. Okay, let's see. Partially buzzed right now. <laughs> I have you tried becoming yeah. an alcoholic? This is a. This is a <laughs> Sorry, please yeah. yeah, but I'm failing her joke. Thank you, Claire. We finally found the female to male incel, and I'm so happy for us. <laughs> 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 you can make a brand of this. You can I'm be like the. I just been through me before. Did he answer? I think that he said that he does drink, but I, I don't think okay. we got any extra, like, weed is bad, okay. I don't think we got that. It is what it is. And like I said, it's just, uh, I've tried every date nap there is, I've tried LGBT date nights for buying oh, yeah, None of them are going to work for you. No, none of those apps are going to work for you. Yeah, you could try to So what do you recommend? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not allowed to say kill yourself in space and then I wouldn't, but it doesn't sound like happiness is, like, on your, you know, I fundamentally yeah. changed the person. I do not endorse suicide for this one. That is not true, okay? Ryle would be so happy if we just spent quality time together. Don't poison the well like this against my king. Me and Ryle would be best friends for life. He would find happiness, okay? <laughs> I'm starting to think that, like, 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 you know, there's a lot of crazy in this panel here, but like, um, um, or th there's a lot of, you know, eccentricities in this panel here. But my man Ryle is shining above, and I think, like, I, I think that, like, it's like they don't appreciate him. Like, like, they, 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 they they're don't just see on his value. level at this point. Mm -mm. He's like he's playing, he's playing like five D chess right now, and they just are not <laughs> following. Like, he's on another level, and they just can't handle it. They just cannot handle Ryle. We need to like ugh, we need to find this man. If Brianna does not tell me who this man is, we're gonna have problems because this is my new king. Okay, this is my new obsession. <laughs> Please. I think. Uh, do you think Kelly Cadigan would know? Do you, uh, can you ask Kelly Cadigan? I don't think that she'll answer me. Oh, but she'll answer Brianna. What if you got? What if you got Brianna to ask Kelly Cadigan? Ooh, if Brianna doesn't know, I'll say ask Kelly. Yes. Okay. Good idea. We will be united. I mean, hey, like um, there, uh, there is, uh, there is making team works, and there is the rest. If I have to be the sheep, and the woman have to be the shepherd, as long as it works, be the shepherd. I'll be the sheep, and let it work. But well, I mean, there are the 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 within a relationship, like, dude. If you don't, it's not like, free. You can definitely be dominant to the to the point that you are submissive. Like I, I, I allow this to happen. That's that's the key. Like the no, only reason any of this is happening is because I allow it to happen. Woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? The over man at all. Because I like I'm out of it. I want to be in charge of the relationship. I don't want that. I think that's I don't I don't think that I would want him to be in charge of my relationship. It sounds like he doesn't really know what he's doing. Like if you're a turbo virgin here and we've never we've never felt the warmth of a woman, like what are you leading me to? <laughs> Disappointment? I mean I mean I mean submissive women don't have sexual wants beyond pleasing like their man. Mm, you're right, I didn't even consider that. I'm such an idiot. Female moment, my bad. That's a problem. I mean, the never gonna have a would come from the pain. Mm -hmm. The pain does not come from the people, who, the woman or the partner who tells you, go that way, oh god, that way. Whoa, 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 I don't know where, I mean, I think we think you're French. I don't know where you're from talking like that, but my French. girlfriend has the very first say in everything. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Everything. So if you're not by design, because, I hope I mean, not by design. But because she has the freedom of being able to watch right. other things. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know what there's no point to be made on your part there. I mean, of course, uh, you need a captain. More. You're a soldier, you need a captain. That's all I say. I, I disagree that relationships are like that, though. I think that relationships are give and take. And, I mean, I've that's, been successful. That's, uh, that, that's more of a modernist approach. I, no, oh, it's yeah. just not, man. It's just not. I'm sorry. But, like, this is how things operated for hundreds of hundreds of years is that you were a team. I disagree. I disagree. My grandfather was <laughs> <was laughs> <was laughs> <was laughs> Yeah, maybe your grandfather disagreed, but, you know, like, before Be your own man. Had, like the nuclear family in the 1800s. Do you think that? You think that people were out there on the frontier and they were like, no, the wife stays at home, she cooks and clean. I, no, you were a, you were a team. That's a phone seat. That's a phone seat. She watch out. She, she, she watch out. Whoever is doing that, they should just kick them out of the, 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 the fucking call. That's so annoying, dude. Thanks, Cardi. <laughs> for me, for me, if there is a, a partner, there's one who acts and is on the field, and there is the Overwatch who watch out what's going on and direct. And it's two components that are necessary. We need. Absolutely. The one running out widely without thoughts needs to be controlled by someone who overwatch and say, okay, it's good, but turn left, turn right, go middle, you know? Absolutely. It's, it's a teamwork. It's a teamwork. I would die before I ever think that way. I'm sorry to say it. I would rather die than allow women agency and choice. I'm just going <laughs> to say it. I would rather die. I would die first before I allowed a woman to have free choice and will.
But you as a woman had a free choice to uh, have a sex change. Curious. <laughs> um, I just, I just, like, I, I, so they keep talking over my man, Ryle. And I'm mm-hmm. just so sad because when they're doing that, it's just so fucking surreal to me that like the title of this, like uh, the space is are trans people mentally ill? And they're like discussing like traditional, like, like the like, traditional relationships or whatever. Like, like either let the man speak or like, or, or like, or like, I, it's like they need to like either commit to the crazy or or, or, or commit to the topic. Okay. I agree. I agree. We're kind of all over the place. We either need to get back on track, which I think would be I I see Carl Max right here. Carl Max is coming. <laughs> oh, okay. He, he he came in. So okay. we are gonna get back on topic eventually. But I agree. It's like we either need to ride with Ryle off into the sunset or we need to get back on topic we can't do both because we need to let our traditional um mentally ill transgender king talk um or we need to switch gears like those are kind of our options i agree with that i agree with that it's so funny to me that like that like this space like answers its own question so well well obviously by the name of the title all of the mentally ill people are going to show up so i mean (laughs) <laughs> no, but, but but even like 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 when I first saw this or whatever, like it was like it was like our trans people mentally ill, and, and then like the first four names or whatever is like the f- the four most like mentally ill trans people like you've ever fucking seen. But um, little did you just... know, Ryle was down here. You didn't even know he was in there, and it got worse. <laughs> I like, fucking know that like Ryle was out here in the wings, the fucking sleeper out here. Oh my god, fucking underdog of the year. Let's go, dude. I love this guy. All right, Carl Max, come on, dude. Someone has to make the money and someone has to spend it. it look, it's not possible to change okay, yeah. I'm tired of the, the alpha male dating shit. When does Carl Max? Okay, Can somebody tell this French guy to fuck off? Yeah. Oh, there we go, okay. That good. Due to my father passing and everything that's going on like in my personal life. Fuck, he left. Where did he go? I just want to hear Carl. Wait, did, could we, who left? Did Carl Max leave? Yeah, he's not in there anymore. Where'd he go? I don't know. Does he come no, back? Oh, he got scared off. Oh, uh, bro, come back. <gasps> there he is. There he is. He's back. Okay. I'm waiting okay, to see okay. if he gets the speaker role. <gasps> there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, Sam. So okay, we're ready. If it's okay, okay with you, it's okay with me. Yeah, and it's okay with us. And somehow we still talked about this fucking alpha male shit for this whole fucking time. Oh my god. Like I said, it's just, <laughs> I come to a point where I just. I'm to a point where I'm probably just going to give up on a relationship if I'm, if I'm still Oh my god, can we just let our king be in and sell? Just leave him alone. Dude, respectfully, dude, I mean, dude. 26. My parents didn't get married until they were like, you know, 38 or whatever. And, and this comes to the, ex- the extreme out- outlook you have on everything. Like, dude, I'm 30. I mean, true. Okay? I'm not worried about things I did in the past or what's in the future because it's all going to happen again. And you're saying something that just didn't happen is never going to happen? <laughs> I mean, you are se- it's, it's a, you're manifesting your own destiny. I'll just leave it at that. Oh, Queen B says Carl only had like... 30 seconds. It better be a good 30 I mean, seconds. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that theory as well before, so. I mean, right, right. I always look at In other this. words, you, you could enjoy this. more, you can explore more. It doesn't prevent you of any harm. Yeah, well, it's again, just again, that life is set up to <laughs> distribute fuck up things. Bro, it, it's like everyone. when you're in the third grade at your friend's house. Their mom offers you a sandwich. You say no. Yeah. And then you think, wow, I'm actually kind of hungry. They offer it to you again. You say no. And then you, over time, you learn that, okay. I'm gonna say yes because they're not gonna ask me if they don't want to, and Little that's victorious. the idea. What is this fucking analogy? Just say yes. Like, don't be so pessimistic. Why are they giving him dinner? Trying... I guess I'm trying to relate this to. I guess I made more sense. In my... That that was the weirdest analogy I've ever heard in my entire life. Dating is kind of like your friend's mom asking if you want to eat a sandwich. I <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I am right now. Help! Head, but it's like no. I... You can be pessimistic. Okay, Carl Max, come on. What are we gonna do about it? Are we gonna no. get on a space and cry? No more. I mean, is this a transgender mental illness? What's going on here? I thought this was about trans people being. Yes, bring it back. I think I think those subtext the whole time has uh, been featuring a mentally ill trans person. Oh, got him! Holy <laughs> <laughs> shit! Right there, like, 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 this did just become like a like a like a like 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 an observation, like a like a case study. Yeah, everybody was just kind of sitting around watching the mentally ill trans person. Love. Uh, based observation got him i know i can Which tell I see the, the people here but come on i'm a kind of, kind of autism again, I'll take the good. again i know that i'm not mid ill i know that. no okay we've you're heard enough autistic. no i'm not you're autistic no i'm not you're 100% autistic <laughs> then, so if, if you, you are it's good i think i swear it's good if you are it's good if you are autistic it's good who is this french guy what the fuck <laughs>
Are they saying that Carl is autistic? No, they're saying that uh, our king, Ryle, is autistic, and he's like, I am not! <laughs> he's getting, like, pissed about it. <laughs> <laughs> I am not autistic! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, come on, Carl, get us back in on track. Come on, buddy. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It's, it's the first time. Do not. What? Ryle! Ryle, chill! <laughs> Wait, what did he say? What did he say? He said, I'd rather shoot myself in the head than be autistic. <laughs> no, Ryle! Ryle! Ryle, I have such bad news for you, bro. If you think that, like, dating is hard when you're 26, I don't know what. I, I have bad news. Uh, we're gonna have to old yeller your ass, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Save him. You can save him. I can save. I can <laughs> save my king, please. What is left of this? Not very much. Okay, come on, Carl. Let's go. Two minutes. Why? Why? How do you just wrap up in pay. two minutes? That's not autistic. <laughs> The thing is, whether you are you whether you are told you are autistic or not, hypothetically speaking, let's say you are, it's like shorting your cat. It doesn't whether the box is oh, open or seven. not. We don't know. Done. Oh, hang on, I'll go back. Why? Do not liken me to autistic people. Well then stop acting autistic. <laughs> I don't know what you want anybody to say, bro. That's, don't, you don't get to pick. That's, that's, not autistic. that's <laughs> not autistic. <laughs> The thing is, whether you are you whether you are told you are autistic or not, hypothetically speaking, let's say you are. It's like shorting your cat. It doesn't whether the box is open or not. It's we don't know. Done. So you hiding from it and saying you'd rather smash yourself in the head than be autistic, dude. If you want to smash yourself. Also, if we're gonna say one thing, like I think that smashing yourself over the head over something that like slightly upsets you is probably the most autistic behavior. Like we're not really we're not really doing ourselves any favors here by characterizing this this way. Like. <laughs> I can't make this joke, it's too ableist. I can't believe this is almost over. Our fun has almost ended. This is trash. Self in the head, you're already retarded. Wouldn't you rather yeah, be like... I'm, I'm, retarded. Retarded. I'm, I'm not a gold medalist. I'm not a gold medalist. I'm not a gold medalist. Why? Why would you claim? Because I feel like... If it's not because of the outcome, why would you claim so hard that you're not something? If it's not the outcome? Because exactly how you already said that I was not autistic. Oh, he's well, I pissed. think it's more the fact of how outraged you'd be if you were, which is why you're so anti it. Because why are you really yeah. worried about this, man? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We love you. Yeah. Yeah. We love you. We have a safe place to express your autism. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. well, Will nobody like save him? You know, Twitter space. Like, I don't think it really matters. No, I, I, I get the oh, official diagnosis. Oh, official awesome. diagnosis awesome. straight from me. If Carl Max is diagnosing you, you know it's fucking real. That's that's how you know. I are, are we really only only gonna get like like fucking like thirty seconds of like of like of like little jabs from Carl Knox? I'm so fucking sad. This is trash. He should have came on earlier. Just, we're just talking around it. Otherwise, though, we're all just saying it in different phrases. It's, if we're gonna have the conversation, it's we can dance around it all day. I don't know if he is or not. I don't know him. What I know it's it. It's been two months. I've been listening to Lana Del Rey album, so I cannot. That might be a symptom. Two months, Lana Del Rey. For me, I sentence you to two months, Lana Del Rey. Again, oh, I, again, oh, again, I'm sorry about Wilding, but it's not a while ago, it's just hot. I don't know. I fucking hate you. Huh? Listen. Fucking, oh my god, I don't get Lana Del Rey, I don't get it. Oh my god, thank you. Lana Del Rey, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Not, uh, yeah, you're like a sad woman. Pay attention. She's I, I like, like they, are, they are weak. Okay, as a sad alcoholic woman in my early 30s, I still don't even get Lana Del Rey, and I'm the target <laughs> audience. <laughs> you need to re-listen to her shit. You're missing out. You apparently. might be, you might be a tad like, older than your demographic. Was that Olive? I think it's like Did you guys yeah. know that Alex Jones really liked Lana Del Rey? He, he would. Like, plays her a lot. He would. Mm -hmm. Dude, food shops, I fucking hate you. Why did you only get an hour or 40 minutes of this? Was there more? Like, it, like, it, like, did it keep going? It must have. It just like cut off. There must have been more. Oh my god, dude, that's. I hate you, food shops. I hate you. That was. You're res you're rescinding your uh, former praise of her. I am. I'm taking it back, dude. That was the best thing I've ever listened to. I'm so happy right now. I've never I felt am, joy okay. like this. Just when I thought it was over for me, a new beginning has presented I itself. Was, uh... I was literally like, like, like just thinking this. Like I was literally thinking that like Poppy was like like this. This was like like the most like the most like, like the most like like the most that it got. And and not only like was that like distributed amongst like more people. Like Ryle has more and like and like an even more like confined package. Like he like he eclipses like all that, that entire fucking polycule of his own. Like it's all on his own. It's I yeah like. Poppy and Xena, yesterday's news. Today, Ryle. Ryle forever. Like, I... I am mesmerized. I am captivated.
by I'm going to find him. his existence. I don't think I've I've ever heard anything like it before. It's it's like art almost. I I just don't know how I can like go back to normal life knowing that he's out there. You know, like throughout my day, I'm just gonna be like, wonder what Ryle's doing. 